What's up guys and welcome to our very first course of 2022. We're super excited to get this one out to you. We've been working long and hard on it and it's finally out, finally ready to go. We'll talk a bit more about everything later on, but I first want to discuss exactly what this course is all about. We wanted to make something unlike any of our other courses. We wanted to make something that has a more organic nature type of feel to it. And this one hits the nail on the head. If you take a look at the shape of this model here, you're gonna see it kind of has this, you know, fish-like formation. It has a face, it has a body to it, it has fins. And you know, the fins on the front are these little rotors that can go underwater or fly around in the air. That's my favorite part. So there's a lot of design thinking that came into this model because not only does it take inspiration directly from nature, it's also functional in both types of environments, both in air and underwater. So the idea was to make something that can kind of like fly in and out of the water and you know, just kind of work like that. And that's exactly what we did here. So this course is about how to create this thing from scratch. There are no paid add-ons required. It's completely done in vanilla Blender. And also we geared it more towards any beginner or intermediate users out there. If you're an expert in Blender, you may learn a few things, but we wanted to gear it more towards those beginners and those intermediate people still learning out there in the community. Now the idea here was to get a more organic shape to it, and obviously that requires a little bit of sub-D work, so we did some sub-D workflow with booleans and things like that. A lot of people seem to think that you can't use sub-D and booleans together. You absolutely can, you just have to know how to do it properly, and we'll discuss exactly how to do that in this course. So I'm going to pass the torch over to my partner Ryu to talk a bit more about the course and what's included. The idea behind this course was to create something really simple that's going to involve very basic Blender operations. This is why we say that this course is for beginners. It's really not complicated, it's easy to follow, and we're not using any complicated tools. Now design is something that we all struggle with, and it's really difficult to design something in 2D, but 3D is in a whole different ballpark. You need to make sure that your model looks good from any angle. And it's a really difficult task to achieve because you need to think about, you know, the form, you need to think about the shading, you need to think about the idea, you need to think about the balance and functionality and all that. You need to make sure that everything makes sense. Uh, but this course really touches on that very heavily because throughout the whole course I'm focusing on design and the reason why I'm doing something this way, not another. I'm talking out loud about my thought process. What am I thinking when I'm adding some detail? Why am I changing angles, etc.? So it's really valuable for uh, anyone who would like to deepen the knowledge on design. There is a really cool bonus video in this course. It's about adding decals and trim sheets to the model using decal machine, which is a paid add-on. Now, even if you don't have decal machine, it's important to watch it, I think, because it's a really valuable video that will show you my thought process behind placing tertiary detail. You can ruin the whole model by badly placed detail, and it's really important to understand how it works. And that video talks about it in detail because it's in real time and it's with commentary. So every single decal I place, I explain why I do it, okay? Now, if you subscribe to Blender Bros membership, you have access to all the decals and all the trim sheets used in that video for free. In the last part of the course, I'm going to be teaching you how to frame your image, how to light your image, and how to render your image. We're going to be rendering in cycles. In addition, there's going to be a Photoshop part when I'm going to teach you how to composite your image with a background. We're going to be using free stock image of a desert, and we're going to be compositing your image in Photoshop. So this course will be released on January 13th, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So pre-orders are currently available at a really good discount, 25% off. You can get it on our website, Gumroad and Blender Market. So whatever platform you prefer, it's available on there. Once again, we're really excited to get this course out to you. We're just wrapping up a few things and everything will be ready to go. So like I said, pre-orders are available at 25% off. You can grab everything in the links in the description and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you. Thanks so much guys and we'll see you in the course.